intuitive life coach, psychic reading, medium, empath, speaker, and author. So please help me welcome Catherine Cates. Um, 
but you can get so much information from refreshing memories. I mean, just imagine how powerful that is if you knew what your blocks were and your lessons and your purpose and your soul contracts. You know, maybe a person keeps popping up in your life and you don't know why. Well, maybe there's a soul contract that that person's supposed to be in your life for a certain reason. That's what a fellowship record reading can tell you and help you manifest a relationship, a different relationship, or whatever. It can give you those answers. Okay? Maybe money is a sticking problem. You can't manifest money. I mean, that's a big one for a lot of people. Maybe you had several lives um, where you had poverty and your soul hasn't healed from that poverty vibration. It could still be stuck in your... Ooh, hello in your uh, energy field, okay? Because an Akashic Record reading is deeper than a past life reading. Past life readings, read your past life. Okay, Akashic Record encompasses so much more than that in addition to past life. But there can be certain patterns that have happened in a past life that's causing you not to manifest in this lifetime, not to get what you desire. Um, it could be injuries that keep coming up, and like, why do I keep getting the same injury? And until we can clear it out of your energy, then it's going to keep happening. Um, I did a reading for a, a crush record reading for a lady a while back, and she had just turned 40. And when she was 19, she got this rare illness. And she really needed confirmation, because that's something you can get in a, any kind of reading, get confirmation. And so what I saw for her was, yeah, you chose to get this illness, and you chose to get a rare illness, second of all. So that you can recover from it. And to take it one step further, she's now learning to be a healer so she can help other people with this rare disorder. You're talking about me. Oh, okay, well, I'm not going to use your name. <laughs> I know you are. And it helped, didn't it? Didn't it help? <laughs> to get the confirmation? I'm sorry, can you show me example? Oh, it was okay. I'm not going to use your name, but it helped because we got the confirmation of anything, right? Yeah. yeah. And so it was able to help her just get that validation that she is on the right track and she's doing these things. Thank you for sharing that. Okay, so I'll move to somebody else I did one for. So I, you don't know this guy. So I did one for a gentleman, and he um, he tends to be one of these people that he knows everything. Okay, and like you can't tell him that that's not right. And that's really hard to work with that kind of mentality because if, if I see it in the reading and he's like, nope. No, no, what are you doing with that, right? <laughs> so he's a very smart and talented guy, and he's trying to raise money uh, with investors to help invest in his business. And every time he'll meet an investor, he'll like call me and he'll go, so what do you think of this guy? And I'm like, I'm not feeling it. And he's like, yeah, but he checks all the right boxes, and he's got this money, and he's got the lifestyle, and he can do this, and he can do that. And he meets all my specs, I'm like, sorry, I'm not feeling it. Sure enough, I'll hear back from later. That didn't work out. Tell three, and I'm like, what can I tell you? I just wasn't feeling it with him. So, but he has this pattern of picking people because they check all the right boxes. And we all do that, okay? I'm not picking on him. But it feels right. Like, this box is checked, and they have this, and maybe it's a person, they have green eyes, and they're so this many feet tall, and oh, that's my perfect person, right? And we just get set on that. But maybe that's really not the perfect person or situation. So in his reading, what I was picking up on is that he's had several past lives where he's um, been prosperous and intelligent, but he's had this ongoing problem of he knows everything. He's just a know it all. It's got to work out because he knows it's got to work out, right? And I'm like, dude, it's not working out here. <laughs> you know, I can see that. And I, what I told him recently is I said, so what I've seen is you had three past lives recently where you had the same characteristic, where you just have this know-it-all thing going on, and when you do that, it's blocking you. That's why you can't manifest as an investor, see? And of course he blew me off, he's like, oh no, I'm doing really good. I'm like, okay, don't tell me back in a week when this last semester doesn't work out, you know? Just kidding, of course I always talk to him, but you know, he just has this mindset that it has to work because I said it has to work because it has to work because I said it has to work, right? And I said, but dude, you've been working with that for three lifetimes. This is your lifetime to let it go. Because <laughs> if we don't let something go, guess what? It's going to keep coming up in a lifetime until you clear it. 
Because that's all Earth is, it's just one big experiment, right? It's just a big classroom, and we've got to learn, and if you don't learn, you don't get the lesson, you don't buy the ticket, you don't get to move on, you don't get promoted to the next grade, right? So for him, I just kept seeing over and over again, it's the same mentality that you have. This is your lifetime to correct it. Because I do feel he's going to get an investor, but he's got to let go of his mentality first. See? And this is where how accessing your records can help um, obtain that kind of information. So what I have put on this handout, and if you didn't get one, you know, please feel free to stop by my booth out right when you walk in the main hall. And I'll, I can just get your email and email it to you, or punch it in our website or whatever. Um, so there's, here's eight different ways that you can kind of benefit from a project worker readings to help you manifest. So for one, you can get clarity. I mean, and you can get that out of any reading because sometimes there's just something that, you know, we're not quite seeing it. We don't really know what's going on, like this guy with the know-it-all thing. Is it would just help to get some clarity to see that that's what's blocking him from manifesting what he wants. So once you get that information, you can figure out what to do with it. Am I going to use it and move forward? Or are you going to be like, him? you're going to be stubborn and you just have to learn that one of the next go around? You know, it's your choice. This is your life. You can get confirmation, validation, um, to find out what your soul talents are, your strengths, am I on the right path? Okay? Because um, a lot of people have good intuition, or maybe they've gotten readings from other people, and they just want another one to get some good validation. And that's what the Akashic Records would do. They'll help you validate, yes, you're on the right track. Yes, you're doing the right thing. Yes, you're using your talents. Or maybe no, you're not using your talents. But let's look at what is the better use of your talents. See, this is the kind of thing you can help you with, because we all know that when you're doing your passion, Passion is a very high vibration, right? And when you're living that, it's easy to attract people to you because you're living your, what you want to do. You're living your soul's desire. And when you live your soul's desire, it's almost impossible not to attract people to you, okay? And so that's where the readings can help you to figure out what is my desire, what is my purpose in life, so that I can manifest that. Because I want to do it, right? Because it feels good. We all want that. And sometimes, by the way, your purpose is not anything, you know, like rocket scientists or anything like that. It could just be, be who you are. You have these gifts, and your gifts are just helping the planet. So, you know, everybody's purpose is a little different, and that's what it can help you with. Um, so, core, find out who you are at your core, discover your path, um, understand how your past choices might have affected your current life, whether it's a past life or this this lifetime right now. Because we bring uh, characteristics from each, each lifetime forward. Some we bring you know, more than others if we have that tendency, like it could be in the past five lifetimes you did this and this is, you like those characteristics about yourself and you're bringing it forward again. Or maybe you want to change something. Like ah, I've done that for five lifetimes, it wasn't working out so good, so now it's time to let it go. So it's always helpful to find out who you are at the core because then it helps you to manifest easier, right? To know you're on track. Um, causes, it can help you find the root causes of your recurring issues. Because again, it could be a past life, it could be a present life. Um, find out what your past life choices were, your limiting beliefs. Limiting beliefs will get you every time. That's usually what's blocking us. Karma um, and repeating patterns. Because I do see that a lot when I do readings with people. Patterns that keep repeating. You know, whether it's personality pattern, maybe it's an injury pattern that keeps surfacing, uh, relationship pattern, you know, it could be all different things that come up that could cause you to get kind of stuck in a loop. Um, choices. So, you know, we live in a free will planet, right? We all know that. And so we have to make choices every day. And not making a choice is a choice. <laughs> okay, that's the way this planet works. And for all you programmers out there, we have like an off on one zero binary planet. It's yes or no, black or white, off or on. We operate by choices. So know that you have more choices in your toolbox. And that's what these readings can help you understand because part of manifesting, I teach manifesting workshops as well, and part of the steps of manifesting is you have to choose what it is you desire. 
And sometimes we do that subconsciously, we do it so quick we don't even know we did it, and that's okay, we did it. But sometimes it needs to be a conscious choice. Actually, it's better once a conscious choice. And so we don't know that we didn't need, that we needed to make the choice. It's like I always say, you can't know what you don't know, right? So sometimes we need to know that we need to make a choice, and what is that choice, and to have um, variety of choices out there so that we get on the right path. So find out how your current choices are affecting your life and your past choices. Change. Um, receive validation from the soul perspective so you can make the changes and understand the root causes and the energetic barriers that prevent you from making these changes. Okay. So we've got five minutes, so we're going to speed up. So again, it goes back to what am I doing? What did I do? This life, past life, so that I can make changes to go forward. Um, clearing. In my um, work, if any of y'all seen me speak before, I do light language, and I can help people to clear energetically with light language. So that's something unique to me that I offer in my sessions to help clear things out. And then commitment. Whenever we need to make a change, we need to make a commitment to make the change and grow, right? Change isn't easy, you know? Growth is not always easy. I'm not going to lie to you. But you got to commit to it. And so, again, the readings can help you figure out where it is you want to go. You can commit to that change so you can get to what you want to manifest. So I want to open it up for questions because I know this is kind of a heavy topic. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned that, because one thing that I want to clear up too is, I don't know if everybody in here believes in reincarnation, and that's okay, it's a belief system, but before we come to planet Earth, um, we do choose everything, all of our details, down to your height, your eye color, your hair color, your appearance, your relationships, your purpose, everything. We choose every single detail. And so, in the Akashic Records, you can find out why did I choose these parents? You know, sometimes if you have an abusive parent, you're like, oh, why the heck do I choose that, right? But maybe you needed to be abused so you could grow through that lesson. In fact, that's usually what it is for most of us. And so we need to find out, why did I choose these people? How did they help me? And the same thing with their contracts with relationships, with a spouse. And maybe you got divorced, like your third dimensional brain saying, well, I got divorced because, you know, I just... He was a jerk and I don't live with him anymore, or she was cheating on me, or whatever. But really, it could be that your contract was done. You know, you were only supposed to be married to this person for this many years, in that whole pre planning stage I was talking about, and you decided, ah, oh, time's up. You know, I reached the 20 year mark with this person, and it's time for me to move on because there's somebody better out there for me. Or maybe I need to be single for a while. You know, again, that's where the readings can help you understand that where you went and where you were. So thank you for bringing up the contracts. Any other questions? Yes, ma'am. Um, so with that connection now with like soulmates, like what you were just talking about, like choosing your loved ones, um, would those records show, like, I guess, if you have one? Or yes, absolutely. She was asking if it can show if you have soulmates. Absolutely. So I can confirm, too, if some of your with is your soulmate. And by the way, you can have more than one soulmate. And it's not always a romantic thing. Sometimes your soulmate is your BFF, you know? It's, you resonate at the same frequency and you get each other, really is kind of the simple definition of a soulmate. You know, and it's like the telepathic communication almost when you have a soulmate. You know when you have one. She's shaking her head by there, nodding her head, yep, you know. If anybody's had one, you know. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I just, it was a question regarding, um, like, I guess it kind of plays into soulmates, but I find myself, like, in my past, like, history with men, like, I go for, it's obviously, like, different men, but there's something familiar about that, like, yes. where they are all, like, it's, like, the same soul. Right. That, right. like, but, I don't know. Um, soul parts. Yeah. I guess, like, where, but it's, like, I literally, like, can see, I feel that soul in this person, and that's why I'm attracted to them, but right. it's never good for me. Yeah, it's usually one of those, right? <laughs> yeah, so that's a reading can help you understand why you attracted to that type of person. And it's always some kind of energy dynamic, and you know, a lot of times it's to help us grow, to see that we're not well suited for that person. Yes, sir? How do the laws of karma involuntarily make these choices for us? 
how do the laws of karma involuntarily make choices for us? Yes, in other words, you know, are we consciously making preparation for the next life or is it being dictated to us based on? My belief system is that we choose everything. You know, really, you know, the reason I keep saying belief system is the world that operates on belief systems. Like, you don't have to believe what I believe. It's okay. You don't have to. I'm not going to make you. My belief system, but there are common and global and universal beliefs. And a universal belief system for the majority of people, they do believe in reincarnation. Okay? And I believe that we choose everything down to the last detail. We've already chosen our future lives. Okay? So I don't, I don't believe that it's random. You know, there are no coincidences. I don't believe that there are. <laughs> That's what synchronicity is. When you're on path and you're listening, things just happen synchronously. It's not an accident. Did you have a question? Oh. <laughs> I don't want to put you on the spot. <laughs> Does anybody else have any questions? Yes, sir. Is there a way to, like, step off of, like, karmic soul contracts, the karmic timeline, and get onto the destiny timeline? Like, how would you do that exactly? to get off of a karmic time, timeline and get onto a destiny timeline. So when you say karmic, you mean like repeating? Yeah. Okay. Well, one, to be conscious and aware of it, because that's always the first step in any change in growth. And you can you know, do that with yourself tuning in, you can have a psychic help you, whatever. There's many different ways to do it. But the first thing is to become aware of it. And again, going back to the choice thing, make a conscious choice, I'm done with that. Okay. And then you can move to the next level to make a new choice. Yeah. Anybody else? Come on, I know there's a question. Yeah. Nobody should come and tell us how to get out of it, so hey. Mm -hmm. Let's have a question. What led you to do a conscious planet records versus uh, doing the psychic? Like, what about you doing that part? Okay, good question. She wanted to know um, why do I do conscious planet record readings? Um, I do psychic, regular psychic readings as well. So I have a unique talent. Every, everybody has a unique talent, okay? But one of mine is that I just tap into past lives like that. It's like, I don't even know how I do it, okay? It just happens. It just came to me one day in meditation, I realized I was getting my past life stuff, and I thought, that's pretty cool. I'll try to read it. Oh, wow, that's nice stuff, you know? So then I was reading a book about a lady that was having these Akashic record readings, and um, it was like, five or six different psychics that would do their readings and they would weigh in and give me different perspectives. And I was reading and I'm like, I already do that. Snap, I do that. I'm already accessing it. So for me, it's just a, a talent that I was born with because I didn't ask for it, I didn't cultivate it, I didn't try and read a book on it, it just happened. But not everybody's that way. So that's just one of my special talents is that I'm able to tap into the past and future timelines. Because have you ever heard that time is all happening at once, right? Past, present, future, it's all one thing, and time is just an earth construct, okay? And so I'm guessing for me, I'm just able to easily tap into those other timelines, those other energies. Yes, ma'am. How do you know when something is a past life or like whether you're in an Akashic field? For me? Yeah, like when you're accessing the Akashic field, how do you know that you're there? Well, for one, you can get the answers. <laughs> I mean, seriously, like if you're not in it, you won't be able to get the answers to that question. And there is a subtle distinction. It's hard for me to describe what goes on in my head, and I just kind of know. Yeah. Did you have another question? You can. You can. She was asking if you're retaining the knowledge from past lives. You can. I've definitely seen people have carryover um, information. It can happen. But you know, we're all born with that um, amnesia on purpose. Gotta love it, right? So that we have to relearn everything. So some, a lot of times we don't. But it, it can be possible, I guess. I see people lining up. So do we have like one last quick question? Nope. Sure. All right. Um, oh, back to the past life, um, yeah. where you keep like you're able to bring knowledge forth. Like, are you like able to also like bring on like past tendencies, like from like a past life? Like, let's say like maybe in my past life, like I had something to do with like driving really fast, and now I like literally like I've never driven a manual in my life, but when I get in this mode, like I literally put my hand as if I'm driving a manual and like yeah, 
She wanted to know, do you bring past life tendencies and knowledge? Absolutely, you do. Absolutely. All right, so I see the doors open. I like to be very respectful of the next people. If you have those little forms, bring them up to me.